What's going on everyone? The Neon Revolution here once again. Today we're going to do something special, something unique. Today we're doing the best of 2022. We've got Brilliant Stars, which came out on February 25th, 2022. May 27th for Astral Radiance. June 24th for Pokemon Go, September 9th for Lost Origins, and November 11th for Silver Tempest. These are the five main sets. There was also the Trick and Trade and the Match Battle from McDonald's, but we don't talk about those because those weren't sets. Now, we have four normal sets. That's why they say Sword and Shield above them, and one specialty set. Other specialty sets from the Sword and Shield era include uh, Celebrations, Shining Fates, Champion's Path, and Crown Zenith is going to be technically a specialty set. And you can tell that because it doesn't say uh, Sword and Shield above it or Sun and Moon or XY or whatever it is. So let's go ahead, move to the close-up, and open these in release order. Alrighty, so we are back with that close-up. Uh, right now, we've got three packs of each set. Uh, I figured it'd be a nice way to, you know, celebrate 2022 and all the sets that came out uh, that year. Because, I mean, it's 2023 now. Um, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. Unfortunately, uh, my father passed away. Uh, right after Christmas so I've been a little preoccupied but uh, now that things are okay double double turt twig just back to back of the same card interesting uh, but now that things are a little bit more settled around my house um, and in the family I figured now would be a perfect time to jump back in all right so there is the first pack no big hitters uh, great, great opportunities to pull some amazing cards. Brilliant Stars, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 2022 brought uh, the Trainer Gallery cards to us. And so lots of Trainer Galleries that we could pull. So hopefully we can get something. There's four from the back for all Sword and Shield era packs. If you want to do a card trick, Turtwig. All right, looks like it's gonna be pretty much the same. Energy, fresh water set. Marnie's Pride, Bear Tick as the Reverse Hollow, and Mag Mortar with Electivire in the background. Is there another Pokemon back there that I can't see? Over there, is that Macargo? I actually can't see. Interesting. I like the card though, I like when they include other Pokemon on the, uh, or in the cards, I should say. All right, last, Brilliant Stars. My hope is to get at least, you know, one pull from each kind of you know, set would be nice. Uh, I understand that, you know, it's probably not gonna happen, but hey, you never know. And this is just to celebrate the 2022 uh, year. Uh, great sets all the way around. Um, very excited for what is coming up with Scarlet and Violet. Electivire. Oh, Mag Mortar in the background. Like it. And okay. And this is a reverse hollow rare too. So uh, yeah, 2023 with whatever they come out. Scarlet and Violet. We'll see how many years it goes on. Hopefully I'm still doing this. Uh then, you know, get through the entire Scarlet and Violet. And who knows what's gonna be next? after that so we are now on to astral radiance let's see what we can get psyduck you stantler all right iceberg boy hippo boy <coughs> excuse me 
All right, there's a reverse hollow and uh, Vespa Queen. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, man. Uh, you don't see Vespa Queen too much. You always see a uh, combi, but never Vespa Queen. So, I, I, I think the last, the last time she was on a Pokemon card would probably be in the Sun and Moon or XY era, because I don't think I've seen her at all in Sword and Shield. Now, I'm going to try to do the same thing after Crown Zenith comes out and do uh, maybe one or two packs per set for all of Sword and Shield. I think that would be a really cool video. And uh, hopefully I can get my hands on some because, you know, some of them, like Champion's Path, the price per has gone up significantly. I will have to go through the stacks and stacks of cards that I have, see which ones I have, see which ones I'm missing, and go from there. But hopefully, if this video gets a decent, you know, showing of love and support, then yeah, I see no reason why not to. All right, Lucario V Ultra Rare out of Astral Radiance. Lucario, a lot of people's favorites. So, one good hit so far. Astral Radiance, this is the last pack. And then we move on to Pokemon Go. Hopefully, we can get some more good pulls in the rest of the video. We've got great sets coming up, too. All right. Nicket, Swinub, Patilly, Hippo Boy, Iceberg Boy, back to back. Guess the friends. Sweet Honey, Cricketoon, Basharp. All right. Super effective glasses. And we've got Mamo Swine. Mm. So far, not looking great for the hit. But again, we've still got plenty of packs to go. We've got great packs coming up. So hopefully, maybe uh, maybe with Pokemon Go, we'll get uh, Radiant Charizard. Well, any, any of the Radiant, you know, big three. Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise. You know, hopefully, one, two, three, and four. Any of those would be amazing. Let's see what we get. We've got Nummel. Alolan, Eradicate, Tranquil, Bulbasaur, and not too energy. A Lunatone, Chansey, Ivysaur, a little Pokestop in the background. Alolan, Eradicate as the Reverse Hollow. And a Sylveon Holographic. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think all the, the rares come holographic in there, but it's still, it's a Sylveon. Who doesn't love Sylveon? All right, so... Two more packs of Pokemon Go. Very, very, very excited for Crown Zenith and the start of uh, Scarlet and Violet. It is a mouthful to say. Uh, maybe S and V. I don't know if that's going to make it better or not. But very excited to see what Pokemon is going to do. I love the few cards that have leaked that people are suspecting are going to be in Crown Zenith. Very, very excited. It looks like it's going to be the biggest set of Sword and Shield era. If I, if what I've read is true. Reverse Hollow Rare Charizard. Uh, I don't think we actually have this card. And if we do, I don't remember pulling it, but that's a great pull right there. It's a Charizard. And then Pikachu, Hollow Pikachu. Absolutely. Great cards. Wow, that's a great pack. Um, I don't even know where I got these Pokemon Go packs from, honestly. I had to purposely go out and get Brilliant Star packs. I had to, because I was going to do this video um, after Christmas, because I got Pokemon cards for Christmas, because of course I did. And I didn't have any Brilliant Stars. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just go out and I'll buy Brilliant Stars after, you know, Christmas kind of dies down. Well, unfortunately, things happened, and then yeah, I still couldn't find any. So, but now, here we are, <laughs> uh, a couple weeks into 2023, but better late than never. So, let's see what we got. Zatu, Rare Candy, Slowbro. Okay, so there is the Reverse Hollow. 
And then... Oh, we get Mewtwo V Star. An absolutely phenomenal pull. I don't think we have this card. If we do, again, I don't remember pulling it. Boom. And finally, we get something worthy of the double sleeve. Beautiful. Centering way off. Um, if I do have another one, I'll check it against the, uh, the other one probably in the binder and see because that one that's not going to get a psa 10 uh unfortunately so it's one of those things where it looks good in a binder though all right on to lost origin i think at the time had uh i mean i'm still missing the chase card garatina from this set that alternative art that beautiful alternative art uh gligar gumi We've got Slugma, there's that energy. Toolbox, Hariyama, Arc Phone, uh, a Super Miscut, uh, Hisuian Gudra. Very, very interesting. You see all the yellow at the top versus at the bottom. That is the centering of the card. That's one of the criteria. The cards get graded on. And a, a Beauty Fly with much better centering. Still not great. But again, looks great in A. Binder. Uh, Hisui and Gudra, Reverse Hollow Rare. So you get to go up front there. No trainer galleries yet, even though we've opened plenty of packs. We should have gotten one statistically by now, but apparently uh, Arceus is mad at us. So let's see. We've got four more packs after this one. So hopefully. All right. Slugma, Clefairy. Rosalia, we've got energy. All right, we've got Bronzong, Thornton. There we go, we get our first trainer gallery. Uh, beautiful, beautiful card. It has been a while since I've opened cards and it's been even longer since I've sorted Lost Origins. I'm not sure if I have this card, but I'm going to assume that I don't, because why not? And Politoed. I remember when Politoed first came out, and all of my friend group hated, hated it, hated it. They were like, oh, they've already got an evolutionary line, now it's got a different evolutionary line, and because at the time, you know, there was only so many Pokemon, because when I got into Pokemon, there was only 151. So, let's see what we get, one, two, three, four, all right, so this is the last Lost Origin. That is a mouthful. All right, here we go. Gligar, Phantom, Pseudo Wudo, Bronzor, Energy, uh, Hisuian Slugu. Okay, here we go. Right down. And we get another one back to back. Pikachu, beautiful, beautiful card. Sleeping Pikachu. Um, I do have this one already, but if I was going to get a duplicate, Absolutely Pikachu. Absolutely Pikachu. And a Dugong. I hated, hated Dugong because the first Elite Four, oh man, they're Dugong with Ice Beam. The original games. Woo -woo. That was a tough Pokemon. All right, let's see. Now we are on to the last set here of 2022 Silver Tempest. What a great year. So many great cards. Let's see what we get here. We've got Durant, Meditate. We've got Murkrow, Whalmer. We've got Energy, Dragonite, Venomoth, Wallace. All right, Anorith. Okay, it's a Reverse Hollow. And Arcanine. Love me some Arcanine. All right, boom, boom, two packs to go. We are almost done. I feel as though it could have gone better so far, but it also could have gone so much worse. There are some great cards to pull in all of these sets. And I am missing, I believe, the chase card from every single one except Pokemon Go. 
Because obviously the Radiant Charizard would be one of the top chase cards, if not the top chase card. And I have that. Perfect. But Giratina from Lost Origins, don't have. Um, the Lugia from Silver Tempest, don't have. Missing so many. Uh, at, was it Astral Radiance that had the Rainbow Rare Charizard? I mean, that's on my wish list, at least. Um, yeah, so there's so many. And I think I'm missing all of them. <laughs> all right, Ponyta as the Reverse Hollow. And, okay, all right, interesting. We, we're down to the last pack here. Last chance to get something crazy. Can we pull the Lugia? Can we end this tribute to 2022? on a bet. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Oop, whoa, whoa, whoa. One, two, three, and four. All right. If it was, it was going to be that card right there. So, Lugia, right? It's got to be a Lugia. Hopefully. All right. We've got Stunfisk, Clink, Dratini, Fletchling, Trouts, Energy. Gym Trainer. We've got Torcat chumping at the fish tank with the love disc in it. Giratini again. Reverse Hollow. Last card of the pack of the day and of all the sets of 2022. An unknown V. You know what? I will take it. I don't have this card. I love the unknowns. I think it's great to see them back. I didn't think they would ever actually bring them back, but I'm very happy that they did. So that is it for this video. Now, I'm going to try to get this video out the day that I film it. Um, I won't say just in case that, you know, I don't, but I want to thank everybody who watches this channel for being patient with me for uh, not posting anything in a while. I do apologize. Um, I feel as though I had a good reason, but still, um, I, I, I was very much looking forward to getting back into um, recording. So, uh, thank you all for being patient. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as I go through these cards right here, to remind everybody what we pulled today, Thank you again for watching these videos on this channel. It is still a small channel, so if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, please put them down in the comments below. I will respond to them because I am still small enough in terms of channel and subscriber size that I have the ability to. So, thank you again so much for watching this. It was a great year of opening Pokemon cards, and hopefully 2023 will be even better.